Some good news tonight. Skates will be swishing, gloves will be flying, and the fans will be screaming. The Columbus Chill getting its ice back and will play all of its home games next year in the Fairgrounds Coliseum. The announcement coming at a news conference late today. Organizers from three events that uh, old fair boss Billy Inman had slated on days the Chill was to play have agreed to step aside. The Buckeye Classic Gymnastics Tournament will be moved back a week and into the Pepsi Celeste Center. The travel show and an antique show also adjusting schedules and sites so that the chill can skate. The uh, team's GM says all the fans who wrote and called in to support the team played a big part in getting the chill what it needed. That problem resolved. The chill then helped fill another void in central Ohio, lack of ice time. Not only for the chill players to practice, but for the skating public to enjoy. Within five months, ground would be broken on the new chiller ice facility. One woman says she wakes up at 3 in the morning to take her son to an ice rink. If Dublin City officials get their way, she won't have to do that anymore. That's because Dublin and the Columbus Chill are working on a plan to build a new ice rink. The professional hockey team would practice there. When they're not using the facility, it'll be open to the public. Dublin officials say they have three possible sites for the 40,000 square foot facility, but they're not saying where. The facility will be designed in such a way that we can use it for a uh, backup rec center or like a convention center. We can put uh, a floor on top of the ice and use it uh, for other things like art shows and other special events. That's uh, especially in the, in the early years before the ice time fills up. Uh, if, on the other hand, the ice time fills up quicker than that, then we hope to build a second facility at the same location. Dublin will spend $400,000 to buy eight acres of land for the rink and office space. The Chills Investment Group will spend the $2 million it needs to build the facility. Officials expect the deal to get the green light at the Dublin City Council meeting Monday night. Out of the fog and back on the home ice for the first time this season. 6,000 on hand and everyone's fired up for the Columbus Chill home opener tonight at the Fairgrounds Coliseum against the Greensboro Monarchs. Barely six minutes into the game, and here's what happens. Kurt Semendil takes the pass from Cam Brown, and the Chill jump on top, one zip. Then, 12 minutes later, Chill were on the power play, and the smurf, Jason Christie, sneaks the backhander underneath Ray Letourno. It's two zip. Greensboro would tie it at two in the second when Brad Treveling gets the steal and leaves it for Steve Strunk, who fires it so fast, our photographer can't even follow this one. That put the chill up 3-2. They go on to win 8-3 to, to run their record to 4-3.